Hey, Matt Green here. Thank you so much for joining me for a few minutes while I share a leadership idea with you that has had a tremendous impact on my ability to not only help me understand and manage the emotions associated with change, uh, but those people who I have the great opportunity to work with uh, and mentor and coach. And so as we think about uh, the emotional impact of change, by being aware of this cycle that I'm gonna share with you today, we are less likely to be derailed by the negative emotions associated with change and manage that effort more effectively. And by, do, by doing so, more frequently adopt new models, new habits that, um, that we so desperately need in order to get different results. So I wanna share with you um, this, this model called the emotional cycle of change. And uh, this was actually developed by a guy named Don Kelly uh, and Daryl Connor. And uh, let me just describe uh, what I have drawn up here for. So this vertical axis is the emotional state that a human experiences, regardless of the severity of the change. So if it's a significant change, um, the, uh, we, we, we always experience the, these different emotions. The severity of which we experience those emotions depend on how dramatic the change is. So it might take a longer period of time that we experience these things, or these uh, the changes in emotion might be more pronounced based on the uh, change that we're trying to adopt. So this uh, horizontal uh, axis, again, is emotional state. Below this halfway mark is pessimism, and above this halfway mark is optimism. The horizontal axis here is time, um, and we're just gonna walk through these five steps of adopting change uh, and new habits successfully. So this first step is uniformed, uh, or un excuse me, uninformed optimism. And, and at this time, we're really excited about the prospect of uh, different results. Uh, we're brainstorming, we're just caught up in that emotional, fun, exciting moment where we're like, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go out and, and make a difference. And so we're really focused on the benefits of what that change uh, will uh, drive or, or that, that we'll experience. As we start to try to adopt these new activities, um, at this point, we move down to uh, phase number two, which is informed pessimism. At informed pessimism, we start to think, oh man, this is a lot of work. Is it really worth it? Boy, the way it was, wasn't too bad. Um, we're experiencing all of the cost associated with change and none of the benefit yet. Uh, so if we've changed our, our diet or our exercise plan, or maybe our muscles are sore or we're going, boy, I feel hungry all the time, right? It's these that we're experiencing the, the cost and not yet the benefit. So we're starting to get maybe a little discouraged, um, a little frustrated. And then we move into phase number three, the valley of despair. And this is where most people just quit. They just give up. They're like, man, it's just, that's not, it wasn't that important to me. Um, the way things are really aren't that bad. We start justifying uh, why, you know, this effort isn't really worth it. And at this point, we're not experiencing really any of the benefit, and it just feels like all cost. And this is where leaders need to show up. This is our opportunity as leaders to help people push through this moment so they can really experience the better life, the better benefit that they so desire. So you can see here that I wrote D and OS vision and operating system. These are the two things, two tools that we have as leaders to help people push through that moment where they're ready to give up. A compelling vision, that why. Why is it that you really wanted to do that? Connect those emotional feelings about what that's gonna do for them in their lives when they, when they really lean into that vision, when they connect the why with the vision. Then the operating system, the operating system are the modules and tools that we have available or that we implement to help us stay the course, uh, whether it's an accountability partner or some sort of scoreboard that we're tracking off, something that allows us to stay consistent and push through this valley of despair. And this, again, is where leaders really show up to support their people. Now, uh, as we push through this success and get to number four, phase number four, this is informed optimism. This is where we're starting to experience the benefit of our efforts. 
of all the cost associated with change. So we're starting to maybe fit into those pants that we previously couldn't fit into. Now, here's the key at phase four, is sometimes we start to feel the benefit and think that we've arrived. So you might liken this to an agent who has been focused on listings and they finally start getting some listings built up and their pipeline is full and they start servicing the business rather than staying focused on the activities that will allow them to sustain that effort. So here we, as a leader, keep the people focused on the activities so that ultimately we reach this last phase, phase five, which is success and fulfillment. And at success and fulfillment, we are starting to see the activities become habitual, right? They become routine, they become easy, consistent, and now we've pushed through that change. We've managed this emotional cycle of change, understanding this ultimately as a coach and as a mentor, as business leaders, allows us to help people identify those things as they experience those things and identify them and they're aware of them, then we can help them understand how close they are to just finishing and pushing through to uh, that, better, that better future self, right? That better future experience. All right, I hope this has been helpful for you. It's been a great tool for me in helping uh, both myself, my family, and those that uh, I have the great honor of working with push through, adopt change, uh, and, and experience the results, uh, the positive results that are associated uh, with adopting change and adopting new habits. All right, thanks so much. I look forward to uh, connecting with you soon.